Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once more to Ask Oki. Uh, this would be our third segment. Uh, first time we talked about, uh, we introduced Ask Oki. Second uh, segment, we talked about the blog. Uh, today, we're going to focus on our wardrobe management tool, uh, also known as the Genie, or aptly named the Genie. A uh, little bit of background here. Uh, for those of you who followed me on YouTube for some years now, there was a specific video where I talked about a very methodical, uh, technical approach, if you will, towards building a wardrobe. And in that video, uh, there was some close-up or close-in on a spreadsheet I had built uh, right on my computer. Uh, well, I'm a financial analyst by training. I was an investment banker for many years. And so uh, numbers are something that comes uh, very, uh, maybe not naturally, but something that uh, I've learned to depend on uh, over the years. So in that uh, specific video, I talked about how I built essentially a tool, uh, an Excel spreadsheet. And in that spreadsheet, I had developed an approach towards putting together a wardrobe. And over the years, I've received a lot of requests to share this spreadsheet. Some of it I've shared, uh, so with some people I have shared, uh, but considering its proprietary nature, I've been uh, a bit uh, hesitant to share uh, with a lot of people. And so the idea came to myself and, and my, my, my partners, um, my colleagues, of course, that since there was so much demand for this tool, that uh, it made sense to build a tool that replicated uh, what I did with my Excel spreadsheet, something a bit more sophisticated. So we developed a tool, uh, software driven, of course, that mirrors what I try to capture with my, uh, with my very crude uh, spreadsheet. And what we have is a tool called Genie. We call it Genie, uh, but it is a wardrobe management tool. Now, let me explain a little bit. What we've done is we created a composite wardrobe. And so we took essentially a nominal number. Uh, uh, in my case, or in this case, we use $100,000. Now, I'm not suggesting you, <laughs> you spend $100,000 on your wardrobe, uh, but it's a good round number. It's a good round number. And what we did was I sat down and I looked at how I built my own wardrobe. And what I did, that I, I basically prorated uh, which is very financial, uh, which is financial speak or finance speak. I did a pro rata allocation of how I, sp how I built my own from an economic standpoint. And I allocated those percentages using $100,000 as my budget. And so what Gini does is that there is what we call a composite wardrobe, which I designed myself and I, and I filled in all the fields and all the values I, I basically built myself. Um, and the purpose there is to use it as a guide when you're building your own wardrobe. And so, for instance, for shoes or footwear, I've allocated a certain percentage, 20% approximately in my case. Uh, for tailored clothing, there's a certain percentage. Um, for casual clothing, there's a certain percentage. Uh, for accessories, there's a certain percentage, and so on and so forth. And so what it does is that while you build your own wardrobe and you enter or you're filling those fields for your own account, well, first of all, you have to be signed up on Askoki, then gives you access to Genie, the wardrobe tool. And so as you build your wardrobe and as you enter these fields into your own account, there's a live comparison. It gives you, there's a dashboard that shows you how your allocation stacks up against a composite wardrobe. And so it's not a precise science, but I think what it does is it gives you some kind of rule of thumb um, regarding how you should go about allocating your resources when you're building a wardrobe. Now, why is this important? Shopping for clothes is a very emotional affair. And most of us have learned the hard way. I had to learn this the hard way myself. Uh, we get emotionally sucked into um, ideas and things we see. We see a beautiful jacket, oh, we must have it. And so impulsively, you go ahead and you purchase it. Uh, without thinking really through, how does this fit into my overall wardrobe? Or do I already have 
too many jackets. Uh, these are all permutations and combinations that don't really come to you when you're at the point of purchase because you're largely driven by emotion at that point. And so what ends up happen happening um, in many cases, uh, including mine, by the way, is that you get to a point in your wardrobe building journey and you find out you've accumulated a lot of stuff, piles of stuff. And then you find that you're probably overweight in one segment. Say you've spent an inordinate amount of money on, say, suits, whereas you don't need that many suits. Or you've spent an inordinate amount of money on, say, Oxford shoes, because they tend to sort of be the most popular uh, shoes, especially when you're starting out in this journey. Um, and realize that you actually need more casual shoes, like derbies, like loafers, or boots, and so on and so forth. And so what the tool does is it's, it's sort of a, a check. It's sort of a, it's a, in, a, in a way, it keeps you honest. Uh, it's, it's, it's a, it keeps you disciplined uh, when you start that journey of properly building a functional wardrobe. So that is what Genie is, and that is the backstory, and that's how we came up with the idea of building this tool. Um, we have the first version of it, or the version one, and the idea is that over time, as our users, as our members of our Ask Oki community uh, use this tool, uh, we hope to acquire feedback, uh, useful feedback from you, and we'll keep modifying the tool um, and adding features, of course, uh, over the years, so that this is just the first version, and I anticipate that in 10 years, um, or 20, I hope we're still around in 20 years, um, as members of this Ask Oki community. I do anticipate that uh, Genie is going to look a lot different. It's going to look a lot different than the version that we have launched with. So um, do yourself a favor. Uh, go to our website, www.askoki.com. Once you go on there, you sign up for an account, and it gives you access to Genie. And then you can start your wardrobe building journey. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about Genie more specifically with my teleprompter, also known as my iPad. But I also want to elaborate a little bit on where we're going with this. This is going to be uh, the first part of uh, a series on how to build your wardrobe. And there are a lot of videos out there on how to build your wardrobe. But what we want to do is we want to take a very structured approach to it. We want to take a very structured approach to it and build stage by stage. And so that this preliminary video or this inter introductory video to Gini is very technical and it basically provides the framework for the videos uh, that we're going to shoot uh, as the weeks and the months go by, uh, focusing specifically on different elements of your wardrobe. So say, for instance, in one segment, we're going to treat suits, uh, how to build a suit wardrobe. In another segment, we might talk about how to build a, uh, a sport coat uh, wardrobe. In another segment, we might talk about how to build a footwear uh, wardrobe. And we might talk about how to build your casual wardrobe, and so on and so forth. And so we have it all lined up, uh, as you will find in Genie, and we will go through it, go through each category, category one after the other. And um, it might end up being about seven or eight series. So uh, strap on your seat belt, and this is going to be an interesting journey. Now, without further ado, let me uh, go into my teleprompter and talk a little bit more about Genie itself. Um, there are four main pages um, in the two. There's a first page that shows you a comparison. It's a bar chart that shows you the composite Askoki wardrobe, and it shows you yours. The blue column is going to be your wardrobe, and the green column is going to be the Askoki composite or benchmark wardrobe. So that as you build your wardrobe, you're going to see, you're going to receive live feedback, almost instant feedback as to how your own wardrobe stacks up against the 
Askoki benchmark. And so the first page on the Gini uh, tool is going to be this bar chart. And then the second page, of course, is going to be your data capture page. It's going to be your data capture page, your name, category, uh, and then sort of you enter uh, the amount uh, that you spend. Actually, you can use the tool as a catalog so that each time you purchase an item, you can actually go there uh, just like your manifest. Like a manifest, you might have an Excel spreadsheet. You can enter how much you paid for each item and it updates the database right away and you can see on your portfolio, on your dashboard, what your current wardrobe allocation looks like. That's the second page. The third page, obviously, it shows you all the details, right down to the numbers, you know, the, the amount uh, you spent on each item and what percentage of your wardrobe uh, that specific item or category represents. The last page is what we call an overview page. It's a dashboard. Essentially, it's a pie chart. And that pie chart basically is, is a global view of your wardrobe. It gives you, tells you what percentage of your wardrobe is in shoes, what percentage is in trousers, what percentage is in suits, what percentage is in sport jackets, and so on and so forth. So that last page is essentially the summary page that gives you a live uh, view, what we call a dashboard of where you stand uh, in your wardrobe journey. So that's it for Gini. Um, I could go into a lot more detail, but I, I, I consider that frivolous considering the limited amount of time we have. Um, that's really it uh, for Genie and for this segment. I, 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 I would love to talk a little bit more about the wardrobe series, but uh, I'd like to keep this very short and crisp and, uh, and uh, keep you uh, waiting for the next installment, uh, which should be coming up shortly. And I think the first installment will be suits, of course. Uh, that is the foundation of your wardrobe. Uh, even if you're not a suit-wearing man, Every man should own at least one decent uh, or a couple uh, of decent suits. So we'll start with suits and then we'll walk, to, walk our way up to, uh, to, to sport coats. And then we go through tailored clothing, shirts, trousers, um, top coats, raincoats, um, all that sorts of dress coats. Uh, and then before we move on to evening wear, uh, we will talk about... Um, I had my burgundy uh, smoking jacket here, but I see that we've moved it, so it's not there. So we'll talk about evening wear also as a segment, uh, and then we'll talk about all the way down to sleepwear. We have it all uh, articulated properly on Genie. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you once more for joining us uh, for yet another segment of Ask Oki Live. And uh, I hope that uh, you've enjoyed it, and I hope that you continue to uh, stay with us as we continue to uh, build this community, as we continue to learn more, uh, share more, not just about classic dress, uh, but about life in general, about philosophy, about finance, uh, about personal fitness and wellness, and uh, all the, essentially, the four corners, or what I consider to be the four pillars of this community. So thank you and um, you have a lovely day and I'll see you on the next edition of Ask Oki Live. One more thing, one more thing. Uh, so what do we got in today? Because I know a lot of you are probably wondering what's this. So this is all Ask Oki, top to bottom, everything. We made it ourselves. So this is the infamous Ask Oki coat. It's made in a lovely tweed by Hunters of Brora, which is a Scottish meal. It's just a beautiful cloth. It just drapes, you know, drapes like, drapes like it drapes. It drapes like it drapes. It's, it's such a beautiful cloth, very comfortable. We're right in the fall, uh, winter season. So this is time to bring out the tweeds, uh, wearing it with a pair of uh, Askoki uh, trousers, pleated trousers. You can see this is our signature pleated trousers, also made and cut by us here at Askoki. It is made 
uh, in a Donegal fabric uh, by uh, Dogdale Brothers. This is a beautiful corn uh, colored, uh, variegated corn colored uh, Donegal, uh, Donegal tweed by, by uh, Dogdale Brothers. And it just drapes, as you can see, it just drapes so beautifully. So, and I have a simple striped, block striped shirt. And, uh, that, oh, the hat, of course, from my, uh, my good friends at Optimal Hats, Graham Thompson, made, uh, made this uh, especially for your professor. Uh, so that's what we have on today. And once again, thank you for joining us. And uh, I look forward to the next installment. Have a good evening.